Hi, it's Groundhog Peggy. Um, this is a, a sort of a follow-up to a video I did the other day on uh, uh, Bum Diddy and all that kind of stuff, uh, Fall Hammer Banjo. Um, and I guess the question becomes, after you do this, then how do you get to where you can put the notes in there? And the way I do it, well, <clears throat> Dwight Diller all, uh, explained it as that the rhythm is a very true, stable thing, like a pool of water. That's your rhythm is a pool of water. And then when you put the notes in there, you're dropping petals into that pool of water. So the petals are, are falling in there, but the rhythm is just a thread that runs true, hopefully. I, I can't get it that way, but I've been working on it for a long time. But anyway, so if we're doing bum ditty, which is not my habit as I explained in the other video, so I might veer off, but so we're doing, um, we go do the bum, do the bum, do the bum. Okay, so we get that. Um, by the way, I'm in G, like I was the other day. And I really do think G standard tuning gives Klecko Hen a, a, a more of a modal sound than modal tuning, but you can play it in either tuning. I'm in standard tuning. So if we're going to play, if we're going to drop the notes of Klecko Hen to the bum ditty, um, we could, let me try to get the bum ditty going. Diddy bum, diddy bum, diddy bum. I'm already double thumbing. Diddy bum, diddy bum. Now, So, uh, on the banjo, unlike so many other instruments, you can, you can play it without the right hand. Okay, you can kind of hear that. But, so, if it's ringing out anyway with this, you just hit those independently. You know, split your mind in half and hit these independently and they will sound. Some of them won't sound maybe as much as you want to. That's kind of okay and it might get better or you might like it that way. Sometimes I like it when some of the notes are kind of a little bit hidden. At least I like it that way. Maybe because it's the only way I can do it. But uh, So we're doing around to get it to sound and it also helps the rhythm so don't just don't just try to go or you can do whatever you want I'm sorry but I don't try to go but I, I try to bounce them because you get a lot of sounds you get a lot of sounds in there so and then the bum ditty is going so it's Trying to slow it down so a whole bunch. Okay, and then to get that little modal instead of going, and I'm do I'm not doing a double thumb, uh, the drop thumb because we don't really need a word on it. But um, this note. You don't want that note, and you don't want that note. You want the in between. So, uh, if you're playing a banjo, you can just sort of, and then you might not get the whole, but you, but it'll sound enough. It'll come out modal sounding because it'll sort of be between. And I like to do that.
hit it before my hand hit it. Because on the banjo, this hand can just sort of function on its own and then just keep the rhythm going with this one. See, I didn't hit it. Diddy and I'm like and then you got the B part and a lot of sliding it sounds cool because that's divorcing your hands from one another so that the it's uh, separate things see it's going up If you want to, you could just go. But it gives it a cool sound if you can get up there. thumb to do this. Bum diddy and try. I, I don't know. It's early in the morning and I don't know. Uh, but um, that's pretty much it. Is you have to think of your. You have to let let these sound. And the more you kind of hit them up and down, the more they sound and they fall into that bum diddy or boom a lack if you're doing double thumb and they fall into there in their own way so you're not like destroying the rhythm I mean you know there's times where you find yourself you hit you find yourself thinking of a note and then you get off the rhythm um, maybe that's okay if you can get right back on I don't know but um, it's similar to I do the same thing on the fiddle on the Nashville shuffle I think one time I made a video about that but on the fiddle you can also hit the notes <laughs> Before you actually, you know, make the notes sound, before you actually hit them with the right hand. So you don't want to go, you, there's no way you can go, or you don't want to do that. I'm not hitting it. That's the way it's... I mean, the, you can just practice making the notes without um, hitting them or worrying about them with this hand. You have to kind of divide your brain in half to do that. But the way, uh, I think a good way to do that is just to sing it uh, the way you would play it while you're, you know. Uh, Put the chords in it if you want to, but that might mess up the modal sound, and that's okay. You want to do that. Uh, there's probably a simpler thing to learn. It may be a
practice sliding too because that way you get a note um, slide it with the emphasis that it's going to get pounded on the right hand once it gets up here so I don't know did I explain it that's all that's all that's how I do it that's all I know is um this rhythm stays true. That's why you need to practice that and sing with it or practice it with somebody playing the fiddle or singing that you got on a DVD or, I mean, a, a, you know, a thing that you play it on, MP3 or something. And um, <clears throat> I would try really humming or singing to get the idea in your brain to drop notes into this thing. or just play with somebody else but then just try uh, you might want to try this part for a long time like two weeks or something just like that and if you get into the draw uh, double thumb then you can even try a drop thumb like that. I would just try the a part for a long time different ways that you can this hand has to feel like it's on a different planet than this hand I do the same thing for me it's the same way on fiddle I don't I don't think I do that on the guitar for me on the guitar and all I do is I, I finger pick I'm no good with flat picking so I don't know what that what they do but on the guitar I um my hands are in coordination with each other it's a whole different thing for me but on the fiddle and the banjo, my hands are two different people. So um, I would try this, okay? Try this, give it, like, let's say give this a two weeks. Okay. I'm, I'm going to see. Am I doing it right? even hop on that maybe just this first part like that do that for a long time and you might miss some I, I kind of like it when I miss some because it gives it a good sound that do it but if you don't don't now those two notes happen in between that for at least two weeks maybe a month when you feel like you can get it without thinking or you know struggling to divide your brain see if I do this sometimes the the rhythm is still going when that's happening then when you get that down for you know, give, I'd give it a month, actually. And it sounds more modal if you, you don't have an exact note sometimes. See, you keep that bum, bum ditty rhythm going while you're doing that. Well, anyway, 
just I, I would just stick it with that. I wouldn't go up here yet. I would go. That's all I got for now, so bye. Happy claw hammering.